The 2020 film Enola Holmes follows the titular teenager, living with her supportive yet secretive mother, Eudoria. On Enola's 16th birthday, her mother goes missing, leaving behind a series of gifts and hidden messages. Enola's older brothers Mycroft and Sherlock arrive to care for her, with Mycroft named Enola's new legal guardian. Mycroft finds Enola to be an unruly troublemaker and plans to ship her off to boarding school run by the strict Miss Harrison. Sherlock, on the other hand, finds Enola to be charming and intelligent. Instead of heading off to boarding school, Enola decides to disobey Mycroft and follow the clues left by her mother. Aboard a train, Enola meets Viscount Tewkesbury, the young heir of Baselweather who was on the run from the villainous Lindhorn. When Lindhorn finds the pair, Enola and Tewkesbury are forced to escape by jumping off the train. Enola and Tewkesbury then part ways as Enola heads to London to continue her search for her mother. While in London, Enola runs into an old friend of her mother's, Edith, who helps further hone Enola's fighting skills. Enola's search then leads her to discover a safe house filled with pamphlets and explosives. It turns out, Eudoria was a member of a radical group of suffragettes fighting for women's rights. Before Enola can process this new information, she is attacked by Lindhorn who is searching for Tewkesbury. Enola and Lindhorn fight before Enola escapes using the safe house's explosives. Enola then goes off to find Tewkesbury to help him evade Lindhorn. Unfortunately, Enola is caught by Inspector Lestrade, who was sent by Mycroft to capture her and take her to Miss Harrison's boarding school. Tewkesbury helps Enola escape, and the two head off to Baselweather Hall to confront Tewkesbury's uncle, whom Enola deduces hired Lindhorn to kill Tewkesbury in an effort to claim the inheritance for himself. When the duel reach Baselweather, they are once again attacked by Lindhorn, whom Enola defeats and kills. And that's when the true villain is revealed to be Tewkesbury's grandmother, the Dowager. The Dowager was a traditionalist who didn't want a progressive reform bill to pass. With Tewkesbury inheriting his father's place in the House of Lords, he would be a much-needed vote in support. And so, she hired Lindhorn to kill him. With Lindhorn dead, the Dowager would have to kill her grandson herself. The Dowager shoots Tewkesbury, but he was wearing armor which spares his life. The Dowager is then arrested, and Inspector Lestrade remarks to Sherlock Holmes that he is surprised it was Enola who solved the case first. Enola and Tewkesbury part ways, and Tewkesbury goes on to pass the deciding vote in favor of the reform bill. Sherlock then convinces Mycroft to allow him to become Enola's legal guardian, taking her on as his ward. As the film comes to a close, Eudoria returns to briefly reunite with Enola. She explains that she had to leave to fight to make the world a better place for Enola to live in. Eudoria affirms that she is proud of the woman her daughter has become, and Enola fully realizes her calling to be a detective.